You know, this is an old 1876 Studebaker wagon that we have, and any wagon could become a chuck wagon. They'd just pull the grain boards out of the back and slap a chuck box in there, and sure, this one's a little more modern than what old Cookie had going down the trail, I promise you, because me and Shannon cater a lot, and uh, we keep it well stocked. This was our kitchen cupboard, our kitchen table, and our kitchen counter. Everything was done right here on this old chuck box, and it was always law, and it was always in the code of ethics and cowboys and cooks. This was sacred ground. Between this chuck box lid and my fire, no cowboy would ever enter. Uh, there's a lot of things that cowboys respected, and they wouldn't even come into this old fly, you know, until they was asked to, to come and eat. Underneath, you know, we just have a, what we call a boot, a place to store Dutch ovens or bean pot pans, whatever you need to carry along. And uh, it was just something that people needed to use, so we had to have a little extra storage. We carry a coffee grinder. This is an old Parker, and we grind, grind coffee a lot. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm sure glad they make it in a can, but uh, we do grind a lot of coffee. This little old table was set up uh, at a lot of different ranches for us. Old Cookie probably may, may not have had it, but uh, just something place to wash your hands. A little old razor and a mirror, something to shave by and something with, to clean you up a little. You know, uh, a, a cook had a lot of responsibility. Not only was he a cook, not only did he counsel, not only did he doctor. You know, the, the cook was pretty well known for what he could get done and what he had to do. And uh, Cookie had a lot of remedies and a lot of cure-alls. Uh, but he had some of them cures that cowboys didn't like. If they bad mouthed the cook a little, he'd oil them up a little. They'd sure know it the next day, I promise you. We carry a, an ax, pick, and no shovel. Uh, Water barrel is probably one of the most important things besides what he cooked with because water was not plentiful uh, a lot back then. And this is no 30 gallon barrel that we take the top britching off of, but harness is what we hold it on ours with. I've seen a lot of them roped on, a lot of them use cinches. We just need something to keep it on there and to keep it tight. We have a good spigot to where this old thing don't leak. And water uh, really to cook with there wasn't a lot of bathing went on back in them days, so really just mostly just cooking water. There was a lot of different kind of boxes that were scattered around on wagons for years, you know. Uh, we've changed this and up through the years to make it what we wanted it and uh, carry a little everything. It's got a good old spring seat in it, uh, and it, it feels every rock, uh, every hump, every holler that you see going down the trail. It ain't got none of these modern shock absorbers down here so you you do feel it there was a lot of times on a ranch that you might not have a hood wagon and they'd fill no wagon up with all the bedrolls i mean mounted up there tight and old cook would just sit there on the bedrolls and drive that team and uh, that way some of them if you see a picture if there never was a seat in there that's probably what old cookie was doing but just a footboard up here to brace and got your old brake and you hook up a good team to that and it's there's nothing more relaxing to me than to drive a good team of horses with a wagon and when you can see two old horses getting a rhythm and uh, see them pulling on them old tugs and hear them trace chains rattling it's pretty soothing.